Okay, now I'm going to install the front USB ports. Um, the way that the board is set up, the front USBs are behind the PCI slot. So what I have to do now is pull back out the PCI that I thought it was so cool with doing before. So I'm pulling this out, sending this over to the side. I'm now going to feed back through both of these cables. I have all of my cables here. I'm going to feed these back through and then connect them to the motherboard underneath. So I've got the card mounted. I'm going to run the SATA connection from the front in through here and then I'm going to just have it pop up through the top and mount it in here. Do a quick twist and I see how it goes. So I have my two fans up front. I've connected those. Uh, there's a fan header over here, which you can't see. Um, I'm not using the four pin power connector. Uh, I've installed the SATA on the side, as you can see, sticking out over here, which hopefully will be covered by the case. I have my two SATA drive power connections over here, which we'll be covering in just a minute. I did the 20 pin connector. Everything's cool with that. I uh, have my RAM underneath. Again, this looks like a total jumbled mess, but I just want to make sure that it's up and running first before I go. I did my uh, HD audio that connected up front. I could have done the AC97, but I just did the uh, Intel HD audio uh, connections. And I am pretty much ready to start this up. Uh, I'm going to put in the drives next, which I'll show you. And then we are set up for the next stage. Okay, I've got my bracket sitting in here just as a point of reference. Uh, these little boards that came out of here turn sideways and they allow you to connect your 2.5 inch drives. Those of you that have taken apart your laptops know how these things fit. Uh, I have my 500 gigabyte Seagate drive here. Uh, this is just typically uh, a standard USB drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart. I'm trying to do it on the cheap. So you want to just jam your fingernail and kind of pull this thing apart. Um, these are really super cheap so they just kind of pop open like that and unhook the drive. So you can see here I have my connection. I'm going to pop that out. So now I'm done with the top of this drive, trash. And now I'm going to pull apart the sides so I can get the little drive out of here. So here is my drive. Trash again. Doesn't matter. This thing's kind of old anyway. So I'm going to undo the screws on the side here and then I'm going to plug this in over here. So give me just a minute and I'll finish this up too. Okay, the next part is I have this old 320 gigabyte WD drive. So I'm just going to start yanking at it. Um, you can see that I have the drive here. Most of these, again, just pop out pretty easy. So that wasn't that bad. And then again, I'll do the same thing as I did before, that I'll undo this and get it out of this case. So typically they just pop out and they just go from there. So now this has the actual connectors and these things just pop out from, from that. So you could actually put this back in and then use this as a, as a drive, but I'm just taking the drive out. So we're going to put this drive, this piece, onto this drive, which I've already got the drive on there. So I'll put it both the same way. And then I'm going to have two drives connected to a three and a half inch. So we'll be back with the next step. Okay, so now I've got my two drives. You can see here, I've got both of my drives hooked to these brackets. These brackets came from out of here. Now what you do is you flip the label side down and then this bracket goes on top of these. And there's actually 
four screw holes on the bottom of each of the two and a half inch drives. I never knew that before until tonight. I always remembered the side holes, but there's actually drive holes on the bottom. So all I'm going to do is put this on the bottom and then connect the holes to there. Once that's connected, I now have basically a three and a half inch sandwich. So we'll get this installed and we'll be right back. Okay, I've got my drives mounted. Again, it looks a little goofy, but it'll serve its purpose. I've got two and a half to three and a half adapter and then a three and a half to a five and a quarter adapter. So I'm just going to set it down in here. I'm going to use my screws and I'll just hook this up. Give it a little bit of room underneath so I can get some ventilation. Again, I've only got two little fans in here. Got the first half of the drive mounted up. And then I'll be able to do some adjustments one way or the other. I will slide it as far back as I can for this installation. And then finish my Okay, so where are we at? We opened up the case, we put in the motherboard, we put in the RAM underneath here, we put in the power supply, I've got my two power supplies for my SATA connections for my drives, we ran the wiring and the, the cabling, I now have my two two and a half inch laptop drives which came out of USB drives that I had extra. And now we're going to go through the rest. Okay, we should be on our final step. I'm going to be using these uh, 90 degree SATA connections and I'm going to be using them for the two drives that I have. I'm going to use one set for the top and one set for the bottom. So as I get these installed and ready to go, they'll actually double over each other. So I'll be putting one each on each parts of the board. So I'll turn the board sideways. Have that mounted up here. Have it focus in. Be feeding one cable through. Of course moving out of the way of all the rest of the stuff. And I'll be feeding the second cable through. And then I will be routing them in here and plugging them in. Now I'm going to use top and bottom. So my 500 is on top. And I'm going to use that as my primary drive. And then my 320, which is my duplication drive, will be underneath. Push the cables down. Use my power connections. And I am set. It is sure as heck tight in here, but all of my connections are ready. So now we'll put the case on. Let me throw it sideways so you can see exactly what we have here. 